at the park. It's a beautiful day. I took out my dog to take a walk, fetch his little favorite bone, and um, and just enjoy the day. Honestly, I needed this because you know being out in nature really helps. And I did my makeup and everything. I had different plans, but I just felt the necessity to come out and just take a walk. So my puppy's enjoying it too. And we're just gonna enjoy the day. Hey everyone, it's such a beautiful day. I'm really enjoying it and I'm just here in the shade, just kind of meditating, enjoying the nature, leaves, the trees, the grass. It's really nice and sunny and you can see how we do this. Hi. How was school? Good. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. What did you do today? I did good stations. Stations? Uh-huh, and I got to record story time. Hey everyone. Oh, I feel a little tired from all that walking, but I got home and I offered Bubba's a taco. He's like, I don't want a taco. He wants bread and butter. Yep, bread and butter. On my way to Walmart because I need a SIM card reader. I've been wanting to share some pictures of us from, you know, when Bubba's was born. And I haven't been able to because the SIM card um, doesn't fit on my laptop. So I'm going to go see if they have a SIM card reader and um, get some other things that we need for the house and then we're gonna head home after that and I'm gonna show you guys some crafting uh, for the kitchen or for the restroom or for your makeup room you can pretty much use it for um, many areas of your home so I'm sure you'll love it Bubba! oh you're gonna crash Bubba! at Walmart again in the panty section <laughs> It feels like I haven't vlogged all day. The day went by so fast. I went for a walk. Lee was running errands and paying bills, so he didn't want to vlog that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. It's been kind of like a blah day. Weird day. Feels like Sunday, not a Tuesday. Weird. Bubba's. 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 Bubba's, bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I was just kidding, bugger. We're on our way to get Bubba some Play-Doh and we were passing the jean section and he's like, Mommy, they have my jeans there. You know, the brand Lee. So he got really, really excited. Huh, Bubba, do you like that they had your jeans with your name on them? We'll have to get you some just so that you can wear your name. Brand jeans, how's that? Yeah. yeah? Uh -huh. Or yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, I am so excited because we're going to be doing a really fun craft today and I wanted to share it with you all because I think these things are great to do with family or just by yourself. Like sometimes you just need a hobby and get away from everything going on and I love to do these kinds of things. So I wanted to share it with you because I find it convenient too. You can use this craft for your uh, restroom, your kitchen, or your makeup brushes. It's just super crafty and nice. I will be using Annie Sloan chalk paint and I'm using the color cream. If you don't have this this paint available near you. You can always go to your hardware store and get a paint that is a matte finish. I will also be uh, sealing it with the soft wax by um, Annie Sloan as well and this one will be uh, the clear one. And then um, yeah I got the mason jars here and I got some from Walmart that don't have the brand on the face of the, of the jar because I like sometimes putting labels on them and I like a flat surface but if you want the more you know antique look you can get the Kerr ones or the ball uh, jars as well so it's all preference and you basically just take the lid off and I do keep it just in case I need it and then I just take my brush that I paid like a dollar for at Walmart I take some of my paint and I love this paint you guys because they use organic ingredients in this paint so there's no um and they're not paying me to do this by the way um, there's no fumes so it's great you know if you want to work inside and you don't want to have the window open especially right now that it's cold I love this paint um, so I traveled to Boulder City to get it because I like it so much. And the first the first layer of paint, I don't do so perfect because I apply like three other layers. But just keep in mind, you have to allow them to fully dry before you move on to the other layer. Otherwise, you'll just create a clumpy mess. So I'm going to do a few of these and I'll see you all in a bit. 
All right, guys, so now that I have applied my two coats of paint, the first coat was very thin and light and not very perfect, and then the second coat was a little bit thicker and a little more detailed. I didn't get too extremely detailed with the top of the jar only because I'm going to be putting ribbon around that and a flower, obviously, So, and I'm going to be sanding it to add a little bit of age and shabbiness to it, if that makes any kind of sense. But I will be adding my wax now, and it'll intensify the color a little bit more to make it a little bit darker which I like it makes it look antique and I don't add very much just very little now if you don't have access to the Annie Sloan paint then obviously you would skip this and it's perfectly fine then I'm gonna take my towels that are lint free and just rub it off because the paint already sucked up what it needed and all the rest is excess once you've done that now it feels really nice and smooth. If you add too much wax, this will be not smooth. It'll be kind of like something dewy, if that makes sense. Yeah. Moisture kind of feel. I don't know. Waxy kind of feel. Oh my god, it's getting late. I'm talking crazy. Okay. So now I'm going to take my sanding paper and I'm just going to use the one from my sander because I could not find the sheets. You can buy sheets. This one's just what I had handy. And to age this, you don't have to do this, you just kind of randomly get some spots where you would have like normal wear and tear. And just sand that down. And there we have our shabby mason jar. And it looks nice because it looks old and like it has natural wear and tear. I'm going to take some of my ribbon that looks like burlap and it has wire which I like and I cut it like this and it's basically going to be glued like this. Okay, so you can pick any color you want. It doesn't have to be this one. Um, it seems that this one might be a little too wide for this jar so maybe we could even fold it in half. I like it to be nice and full, so you have to play with it a little bit before you glue it down. So I'm going to put the glue right there. Be really careful because this glue gets really hot. Glue it in the back as well. Let that dry out first. Alright everybody, so I'm finished. And some of these little tops I painted with chalk a uh, paint in black it would be just like a chalkboard and I also did the lid and you pretty much just close it and you have a chalkboard top which you can put at the top of your jar and let's say that you're putting away like rice or whatever you can write down whatever it is that you're packaging away and then erase it if you need to so now that I did all of these um, ribbons all around my little jars I went and got some uh, flowers with stems. I just took them off the stems uh, at Walmart and I basically just used this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off that extra little uh, stem it has on there just so that it's as flat as possible. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the jar just like this with some glue. Perfect. And then I'm going to just apply it right there. I'm going to do it sideways just because I think it looks really pretty you get to appreciate a little bit of the ribbon as well. So there's our first jar. Isn't that beautiful? And I mean, I just love this. Oh, I love this color too. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on uh, going on the rest of the flowers and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, everybody, so I am finished with my jars and I have to say I love them. I love the orange color because I feel that you can use it for the winter time and the summertime as well. It works out perfect and I have just a spot for these. Um, this is how they turned out and this is how they will be facing. So you can also see the ribbon that we put on there. The flowers nice and plush. I do recommend you uh, spending maybe a dollar or two more on the flowers just so that you know they're a little more elegant looking and they really make your, your kitchen look amazing or wherever you plan to put them so I think it looks great you can put toothbrushes your makeup brushes pens these would work great as gifts for your mom family members neighbors I think that anything handmade 
you know, is a lot more valuable than something you can buy at the store. And I say that truly because you actually put your time and effort into doing something. And I'll be putting this in my kitchen. I'll be using them for my spatulas or things that I need around the kitchen because I think they're just so beautiful. I mean, I love these. Look at this. So cute. So I hope that you all found this helpful. I hope that it inspired some of you to do this. And as you can see, I've done some other ones in the past. This one was using the Kerr that I put a white flower. They're great for the summer. And then if you want something with more sparkle for like a girl's room, I made this one with white. And then I have the little skirt with this really cute ribbon and I put some rhinestones and then the flower itself has a rhinestone as well so I think that's really cute and you can put you know pens, pencils, um, your brushes in here just pretty much anything and I really love them because they also come in different sizes so depending on whatever you need um, to put in them they work out so thank you so much for joining me for this video and I'll see you on tomorrow's blog thanks Thanks so much for joining us on this vlog. I hope that you all found this helpful and be sure to come back tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog. And meanwhile, you can check us out on Instagram at Janice Makeup and also at Liam Bubba's.